Okay, this poem uh, um, is called Intertwining Sadness. Sadness is a bound surrounding my soul, making me round, digging a hole. Sadness grows like a madness, searching to find my core. Oh, that intertwining sadness, always wanting more. Intertwining sadness, filling every crack. Sadness leads to madness, mad, sad pain, oh, smack. How do I rid my soul of pain so great, never reaching my goal? Intertwining sadness is a never ending mate. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? abuse was kind of a dirty word and um nobody you know in my family at least we didn't know that there was such a thing as childhood sexual abuse at least i didn't i'd never heard anything about childhood sexual abuse when i was a kid but um i do know that my father touched his children and i was one of his children um my safety mechanism was to pass out so when someone would get close enough to me and I knew that they were going to um, touch me, I would automatically pass out. So I don't have as much memory as as far as the mechanics and stuff that as to what, what happened to me. But my sisters, they remember everything. Okay. Now, I don't want you to tell me, um, you say you don't, you, you don't remember the mechanics, but I don't want you to tell me anything in reference to that. I just want to ask you this question. Like, do you remember at some point what, uh, transpired you know what were the sequences that that that, that went um through that caused your you know that that made your father you know create a situation to where he would uh, molest you you know what i'm saying what what what, what did he do like to say that particular day um would he call you in because i i've in, interviewed some people and they told me like they had the little sequences in terms of the way uh pe their people did in order to you know start the molestation. Do you remember anything that happened to where, okay, at that day, my father did X, Y, Z, you know, before he molested me. You know what I'm talking about? Was I clear? Well, um, my father was a controller and mm -hmm. he had to be in control of everything. Everything was his way or the highway. And um, you either did what he said and did it the way he said, or, um, or you you just weren't in his vision of of love you know he just he wouldn't show you any sort of love and um he believed that that was love and um that's what we thought too we thought that that was how a father was supposed to show that he loved his children when we were young of course wow did you all tell anyone I, you know are you, because i understand that you say you thought it was love but at some point did did you not feel that this was this was right or, or or was it you know you felt it through all all the times that you stayed you were there at the home that you know did you tell anyone you know i didn't tell anyone because my father said he would hurt my mother wow did, did he did you all talk amongst yourselves in terms of what 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 your father was doing to each one each one of you not until we were adults married and had our own kids and how did it fit? Um, Go ahead. None of us knew um, that this had happened to us when we were kids. And what I mean by that is your brain protects you. And so our brains automatically protected us and shielded us from those memories. And that causes, of course, you to have short term memory loss and all kinds of other problems because your brain is is hiding stuff from you. OK, so at that point in time, when you all all shared what had happened in your earlier years, how, what, what, was, what was the situation like then? Did y'all like, oh my God, he did that? He, you know, I didn't know he did. What, 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 was everyone in, in like disbelief or was what, what was the feeling then? Well, my sisters were together when they, uh, my, my older sister was hypnotized and um, that's when it came out the first time. And it took me a long time to, to believe it, first mm -hmm. of all, because 
um, I had I hadn't really had any memories of my dad doing that to me because I would pass out. Mm. But one day I knew it was true, and I drove all the way to my mother's house and was going to go hit my father. And my father wasn't home, and my mom had to hold me down in the driveway. Did you? And she said that's when she knew it was true as well. Wow. 